88.7 P. It's all on a variety for some in the morning. I have a bit of a dilemma. Okay. Um, here's the deal. I recently moved at the end of this last month. Right. Into a, a, a new house. Melissa and I moved, it back, moved back in together. Mm-hmm. And along with the moving process comes a lot of Stuff. adjustments. Yep. <laughs> okay. It comes a lot of adjustments. So for the last three weeks uh-huh. of my life, I have spent most of that time in either Home Depot right. or Ikea. Well, yeah, you've got stuff to buy. My other free time, I've spent putting together or hanging stuff from Home Depot or <laughs> Ikea. And here's the thing. I'm, I'm fairly handy, but to be honest with you, when I start getting bored or tired of things, I start getting sloppy with it. Yeah. I have to hang a whole bunch of shelving in our closet mm-hmm. to a to accommodate all of her clothing. Okay. I've, I've hung those cl- the closets, but I did a horrendous job. So right now my walls look like Swiss, Swiss cheese. Okay. What my dilemma is, is what, and I should have just hired a handyman to do it to begin with. Right. Do We have probably about 30 or 40 masks from around the world to hang up. Yeah. And my question is, do I hire a handyman to come in and hang all these things up? Yeah, it's a rental. You don't want to have to redo the walls. Do you trust your husband to do repairs around your house? It's Chris and Amy in the morning, 98.7 The Peak, all about variety. If you want to text us, please feel free to do that at 411-987. Of course, Sanderson Volvo bringing us that and telling you not to text while you drive. Don't do it. Don't do it. Pull over. Ain't worth it. No. I have spent my life avoiding things. <laughs> Like construction and hanging and yeah, because, assembly. Can I tell you, I'm going to be honest, and I adore you sometimes. Yeah. Um, you do not look like the type of guy that would have a tool belt and that would go and hang I things around. I do have a tool belt. I know you do, but I think that you bought it so that you would be, you could show people and tell people that no, you I, have a tool belt. I use it. I use Obviously, it. Obviously, you've created Swiss cheese in your, in your house. Here's now. the thing. I made a few miscalculations. Okay. So, so you're agreeing that you're not good. Well, here's the thing. I didn't have my stud finder well, because I was like, I'm right here. What do I need one for, right? Yeah, the stud finder that you have, you have an app for that, which is just stupid. You need an action. Really, Parker? You're not come a on. stud. Come on. You didn't even get that? No, I got it. I tried to ignore it, and then I just couldn't <laughs> ignore it anymore. It's like a bag toot in the, in the air. You can only ignore it for so long. So. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I guess my, here's my here's my dilemma now. I've got to hang all these masks and stuff, and I don't want to put more holes in the wall than necessary because what happens is you have to end up going back and dry like spackling these things. Yes, you do. And we don't know what spackle is. It's like this chalky paste that you put in there. It looks like a really thick, nasty toothpaste. It looks like the toothpaste is always around my mouth when I come walking in here in the morning. <laughs> that's not tooth. That's not toothpaste. Hey, Paula, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Doing very well. Now. Your husband, not so great with that kind of stuff. You are not so bad with it. Has your husband ever attempted any of these projects and just botched them severely? No, I don't let him do that. You just don't even let him? Who no. does it, Paula? I do it. Oh, at a girl. I do it. But how do, you, how do you know that he's not good at it then? Because he can't change a light bulb. Uh, what do you well, mean he can't change a light bulb, really? What? <laughs> it's very problematic. And if he's listening, he'll probably tell me, but that's another story. How do you time. not know how to change a light bulb, Paula? I don't know. <laughs> He's lying to you, Paula. See, what we do is we tell you we don't know how to do something, or we do it poorly, and then we don't have to do it anymore. Well, he can cook. Okay. He cooks. We go into Sears. He goes to the cooking section. I go to the power tool section. So there, there's been a few. There's been a. I, tr- I attempted to put in wood flooring a couple of years back, and there were gaps all over the place, and I had to have somebody come back and fix it. Two six zero nine eight seven zero. What is a uh, what is a project that you've looked at that your husband has tried to to do, attempted to do, and at the end you've looked at and gone, oh, my God, why did you just do that? And can I say this? Can guys call up also and defend themselves on this? They can. I've done it. I've done many projects where I start out with the best of intention. Like, I'm ready to tackle this. And I get halfway through it and I go, oh, my God. It's like when you're a kid and you take apart a toy mm-hmm. and they're like, why did I just do that? I don't even know anything about putting this back together. Oh, my God, Parker. See, my husband can't get out of that stuff because he built a house. Okay, yeah. But he can get out of the laundry and the cooking and the cleaning and the what she does. Shrink a sweater until you're good to go on that. Ugh.